Hey everybody. Um, you know, when I travel to, to church, um, I drive through two speed limits and I drive through two school zones. And it's interesting that those speed limits and those school zones are only set up based on the location where I currently am in. So based on where I'm at dictates the speed in which I can drive. Uh, now when I'm on the highway, like, you know, 45, I can drive a little faster because the highway dictates by its speed limit that we drive a little bit faster. But I'm in a car that's maximum speed is 160 miles an hour. And before your parents freak out, I wanna remind you that I will never ever come ever even close to driving that fast and neither should you. <laughs> but just because I am in, yeah, just because I have the capacity to drive very, very fast doesn't mean that I should. And the same thing for, for drivers is the same thing that we can apply to our Christian walk with Christ. We have to be very mindful of the locations we are in, the times that we're in, and the pace in which we're living. You know, some of you all may be, you know, teens or a little bit younger, and you think it's time for you to have a cell phone. Or you have a cell phone and you think it's time for you to have certain social media apps. Or you're a little bit older and you think it's time for you to receive a car. Um, and I'll tell you, all those things can be really, really good. But if done at the wrong time and even with the wrong intent, um, they can do us damage. And so I want us to be really, really reminded of is that just because something may be good doesn't mean it can't be abused. Um, you may be at a time in your life where you are wanting to do things that God created that are even really good, but it's not the right time. So how do we as Christians live in a manner of patience? of pacing ourselves, pacing our walk with Christ. And knowing that in his time, all things that he's wanting to happen for us will happen as long as we are patient. This is, there's a passage of scripture in the book of James. It's in chapter five, um, verses seven and eight. I just kind of want to share that with you real quick. Um, it says, therefore be patient until the coming of the Lord. The farmer waits for the precious produce of soil, being patient about it until it gets the early and late rains. You too be patient. Strengthen your hearts for the coming of the Lord is near. It's interesting how James uses um, a farming analogy in regards to patience. And yes, he's talking about the coming back of Jesus. He's talking about um, when Jesus comes back for his bride, for us. Sounds good. But he's also using the analogy of a farmer who's planting soil, who's planting seed in soil. And he's waiting for the rains to come down. And it's at that moment that it's ready to be picked. Well, it's the same for us. God has planted his seed, his son, his Holy Spirit in us. And at the right times, at the right time, those things will produce. So let's be patient in our walk with Christ. Let's be patient to experience all the good things that God created for us. Um, and know that the way in which we walk is based on the location we are in life. So 
At this time, at the end of the video, they'll have some questions that I'll put up on a slide that if you just wanna pause your video and answer those questions, you can, um, or you can get them from your email um, or from our group me um, message. So pace yourself and wait for the right time because God's timing is always on time. All right, y'all, have a good one.